The face of Haas F1 is out, as Gunther Steiner was fired from his team principal role. The Italian-American left after 10 years in the role, and there was clearly no love lost between him and the owner. Haas fired Gunther Steiner after a decade in charge. Now, the news shocked the world earlier this month when Steiner, who for many is Haas F1, was sacked from the team after 10 years in charge. There were warning signs earlier in the day after technical director Simone Rester walked away following a reported agreement with Gene Haas, but Steiner's departure still came as a big surprise. Haas's confirmation message was as cold as it was short. It read, MoneyGram Haas F1 team has appointed Ayo Komatsu as its new team principal, with Gunter Steiner departing the organization with immediate effect, having led its operations for the past decade. Komatsu, promoted from his role as Director of Engineering, has been with the team since his debut season in 2016, starting as Chief Race Engineer. Komatsu will take responsibility for the team's overall strategy and ultimately on-track performance, with a brief to maximize the team's potential through employee empowerment and structural process and efficiency. But apart from the brutal opening, it was the lack of a proper goodbye from the owner that would have most hurt Steiner. Gene Haas said, I'd like to start by extending my thanks to Gunter Steiner for all his hard work over the past decade and I wish him well for the future. Moving forward as an organization, it was clear we need to improve our on-track performances. In appointing Ayo Komatsu as team principal, we fundamentally have engineering at the heart of our management. What did Steiner have to say? Fans did not have to wait long to hear what Steiner made of the news, with a former Haas boss appearing at the Autosport International Show just a few days after being given the boot. Steiner said, It was a phone call. He called me and said that he does not want to extend the contract which was up at the end of the season, and that was it. Nobody's proud of the team to be 10th. We didn't have a good season in 23, we all know that. But in my opinion, when you're down, it's not about how you got down, it's how you get up again. But it was what Steiner said about the Haas model that was perhaps the most interesting. What is the Haas model and where did it all go wrong? Ever since their arrival in 2016, Haas's story has been one of survival. Gene Haas's net worth is reported to be $250 million and to put that into context, Toto Wolff is a billionaire and he only owns a third of the Mercedes team. Haas have always been up against it when it comes to competing, but in their early years, they did perform above explication. A fifth place finish in the 2018 championship was a highlight, but then the wheels came off. Haas relied on the Ferrari engine, which had its issues during the pre-pandemic period, but the COVID pandemic threatened to wipe Haas off the map. They were losing millions and facing the very real possibility that racing wasn't going to be in their future, but they somehow survived. This came through a mix of dodgy sponsorship deals, starting with Rich Energy and then the Russian-backed Eurokali, which forced them to have Nikita Mazepin as a driver. But those were eventually binned off and Haas seemed to have made it when they joined forces with the US financial service MoneyGram. This, alongside the introduction of the cost cap, meant in theory Haas would no longer be left behind, but in reality, that is exactly what has happened. Steiner said, Since we had this model 10 years ago when we started, Formula 1 has changed a lot. You guys have seen how much Formula 1 changed after the Covid period, how much it grew, how much bigger it got, how much different it got, how we use the budget cap to get ideas on how to do things. If you look at all the other teams, they're all gearing up to be bigger entities, or they're not gearing up now. They started to gear up some two years ago, some three years ago, some last year. Steiner's point is teams like Aston Martin and Williams have spent hundreds of millions giving themselves the best factories and chance of success. Meanwhile, Haas's dusty HQ in Banbury, UK has left them lagging behind. Money, not the only problem. But money is not the only issue, and according to Gene Haas, the team are not that far off in terms of the finances. He said recently, There is a perception we spend a lot less money. We're usually within $10 million of the budget limit. I just think we don't do a very good job of spending that money. A lot of teams have had previous investments in their infrastructure, buildings, equipment and personnel. Our model was to outsource a lot of that. We spent a lot of money. We haven't exceeded the cap, but we're pretty darn close to it. I just don't think we're doing a very good job of spending it in the most effective way. That's a clear attack on Steiner, who as team principal will lead the team. 
It's something Steiner himself is happy to admit, and the second half of the 2023 season has been pinpointed as his downfall. Has failed to upgrade their 2023 car until race 18 in Austin, which, looking back, Steiner recognized was a mistake. He said, It was a little bit late. I would say if I could go back, that's what we should have made the car changes earlier. Obviously, now with hindsight, it's obvious. I mean, it was change. But then it was not enough time anymore to do it good. When it was discovered that there was no performance in the old concept anymore, Ferrari, they changed quicker, and we tried to hang on maybe a little bit too long to the old concept. It was this lack of development that ultimately cost Steiner his job with owner Gene Haas, confused as to why they finished last in the constructors. What next for Steiner and Haas? Anyone looking to put a bet on F1 in 2024 should look no further than Haas to finish last once again with two key figures walking out a few weeks before the season and an inexperienced team principal at the helm, it's hard to see how it ends well for Haas this season. As for further in the future, Gene Haas is adamant they're here to stay. He said, I didn't get into F1 to sell. I did it because I wanted to race. Gunter had the same perspective. We're not here to cash out. We want to race and be competitive. If you look at any team, historically, they have had a lot of good years and a lot of bad years. Surviving is one of the characteristics of getting better. As long as you can survive, you always have another year to prove your worthiness. This is a big change. Losing Gunter is going to cause the team to have to focus on other aspects. We'll hopefully come out better for it. As for Steiner, he's hoping for a bit of peace and quiet after 10 years in the spotlight. He said, Now at the moment, I'm very chilled out about the situation. I'm not unhappy and I know a lot of people. I've got a lot of friends and for me just hanging around for a year doing the odd job, that does it for me. If something interesting comes along which challenges me, yes, but just staying in Formula 1 just to do a job, maybe is not what I want to do. I like to be with people, but it needs to be something where I can see a future in it. I just don't want to go there and then move on to the next thing. I want to do something where you can achieve something and you try to get somewhere and then I'll do it. But as I said, at the moment, I just want to chill out. It was 10 tough years behind me, I'm still good, I've got plenty of stuff to do. Well, only time will tell who comes out better of the arrangement, now that Steiner and Haas have parted ways. Let us know in the comments if you think it was a good move by Haas, and also where you think Steiner may end up. In the meantime, like the video and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a release here on the DRS Straight.